I'm John, your teacher. In this video, we'll learn phrasal verb secrets, up and down. This is very important. Up and down are opposites. Phrasal verbs often use opposites to express their meanings. Up can mean a direction, an increase, a better situation. Down can mean a direction, a decrease, a worse situation. In this video, you'll see something like this. These are not definitions. They're abstract ideas to help you understand the verbs and the story. Phrasal verbs are abstract. That's why they're so difficult. Now, let's go. David's trip. David is on a trip to the mountains for the weekend. He's wondering if he should hike up the mountain or if it's better to drive up the mountain. If I walk up, I can get some exercise. I can even run up if I want, but if I drive up the mountain, I can stop and take photos. He decides to drive up the mountain. David is so excited for his trip. He starts to speed up, but suddenly his car breaks down. David spends 10 minutes trying to find the problem and gets stressed. This is the second time this car has broken down. This car has really let me down. This is so frustrating. I need to calm down. Let me sit down for a moment and think. Suddenly, he finds the problem. The engine is too hot. If I just let the engine cool down, I can continue up the mountain and settle down in the cabin at the top. After sitting and waiting for another 10 minutes, David stands up and continues up the mountain in his car. He finally reaches the cabin, but it's so cold when he arrives. This cabin is so cold and dark, I need to heat it up and there are no lights. David then picks up a match, lights it up, starts a fire, and starts to warm himself up. That's better. That really brightened this place up. Now maybe I can lie down and get some sleep after a stressful day. David lies down on the bed, but at that moment, he hears some noise outside. It's his neighbors. David gets up to see what it is. It's the music from next door. Ah, they must be having a party. They turned up the music so loud. I wish they would turn it down. It's so hard to sleep. Suddenly, his fire goes out. There are so many problems here. Let me light up another match and start up another fire. As David lights his match, he accidentally falls down 
and the match starts to burn the carpet. Oh no, if I don't put out the fire, this whole place is going to burn down to the ground. After a few minutes, David puts out the flames with some water. That was so stupid of me. I really need to smarten up. But you know, I've had enough of this trip. First thing in the morning, I'm going to drive down the mountain and go home. I think that's the only way I can cheer up. To sum up, up can mean a direction, an increase, a better situation. In general, up can mean positivity. But maybe you're asking yourself, John, in the title, it doesn't mean positivity. I'm confused. Well, unfortunately, Phrasal verbs are very complicated. That's why I recommend subscribing to my channel. You can find more phrasal verb secrets. Down can mean a direction, a decrease, a worse situation. In general, down can mean negativity, the opposite of up. As a professional, I'm a strong advocate for one-to-one -one lessons. Preply is a teacher marketplace with people ready to help. Find your ideal teacher for almost any language, set your price, choose if they're a native speaker and the country they're from, pick your preferred times, and schedule your lesson. It's that easy and from the comfort of your home. In total, there are over 32,000 tutors and teachers, and 17,000 just for English. This is education of the future, and right now, with the link in my description, get a 50% discount on your first lesson. Sign up for Preply today. Thanks for watching, and thank you, channel supporters. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe, and see you in the next lesson.